Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to our Savior. Amen. Hallelujah. Understand the power and the authority in the name of our glorious Master Jesus Christ. He is our glorious Father, our glorious King. I welcome you all. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Master Jesus Christ. Welcome all. Welcome from wherever you are, from whatever, uh, whichever country, whichever city, whichever part of the world that you are streaming, whatever you are. Greeted. Messiah, greetings to you. God's greetings to you. Blessed saints. Wonderful people of God. Great men and women of God. Great general of the gospel, brother and sister in Christ, we welcome you all. You are highly welcome to our Thursday online life ministration service. The day we have come to give thanks to God for the world that has become perfected upon all our offended. Yes, we believe and we trust and we witness. What the King of Glory had done by giving us His Son, who has perfected our faith. Yes, Christ has become our spiritual faith, for He is the author and finisher of our faith. He is our glorious God. All three belongs to Him. We give Him thanks, we give Him honor. We thank God for giving us authority and power of His name. As we are about to exercise the divine, the divine in our life, we are about to see and witness the divine in our life. God loves you. God is with you. You are blessed. You are highly favored. Be greeted once again from wherever you are watching us from, whichever part of the world that you are at right now. Welcome to Thursday Online Life and Social Service with Apostle Kenny C.J. Chris, son of Prophet Sekodade. We say Messiah greetings to you. God's greetings to you all. All glory belongs to God. We are here by his grace. <clears throat> not by our minds, not by our power, but by his grace, by his love, by his mercy. All power and all authority belongs to him. And the name, the name of our glorious master, Jesus Christ, the name that is above all name, the name that God has given, graciously given to us. And we must exercise by believing in what he has commanded of us. <coughs> Pardon me. We must what? Believe by every precept, every command of the Father for our life. We give God all the glory. We magnify his holy name. Honor belongs to him. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Let us not stop giving thanks to him. Let us not stop acknowledging his name in our life. Having the name of our glorious master Jesus Christ is having authority and power over the work of the hand of God. Everything that the Father had done, everything that the Father had created, everything that the Father, our glorious God, had made, he gave authority to the Son, Jesus Christ, whom 
has given us the name. Matthew 28, Jesus said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been installed, betrothed, given unto me. And as such, he is sending us out. And I love you so much. When God said to Moses in the book of Exodus, Exodus 15, Exodus 12, Exodus 7, 12, uh, even 6, God said to him, power and authority, dominion is in the name. So right now we are going to be witnessing, witnessing the name of our king. As who are here, you are there together. We are going to be praying with the name of the Father, the name of our glorious master, Jesus Christ, one who has become our, our sacrifice. How? God gave him for, for him to become our sacrifice. And in turn, Jesus gave himself up and also teaches us how to give our life up also for the world. If you give your life to the world, you will not in any way, in any form, in any time, in any moment, have a thought of what is happening around you or what is happening in you or what you are going through. Because your life does not belong to you. So, so also what you are going through is not your problem. Yes, look, God is not a man that he has said, I will take care of you. I will look after you. He said, I will not put you to shame. Meaning his presence upon you will never in any way his presence in your life, his presence before you, it will never lead you to shame. Meaning, you will not be laughed at. You will not be mocked at. But if you, if you were at any point being laughed at, being mocked at, it's a chill. Meaning, you be in rest. Because laughter belongs to you. So it's about time one began to understand that your life belongs to God. And when your life is in his hand, you have nothing to fear. You have nothing to worry. You have nothing that should cause you to open your mouth and ask God, the trouble that I'm going through is too much for me to handle. Because God will not cause you or allow you or let you go through what your body cannot take. Because he is the faithful father. We are going to minister right now. Mr. I just want to encourage one or two people as you are watching. I believe the Spirit of the Lord will commune to your heart. His presence is right in our midst right now. Before we are here, His presence is in our midst. His presence is in your life. His presence never fails. His presence never departs. On the one that He has chosen, on the one who He has, he has brought forth for them to live in his holy name. The ones who also are aware that they, their life belongs to the Father. So if my people who are called by my name, my people, meaning God's own people, God's own people, it is time to witness what God does in our lives. It is time for one to see the performing world. It is time for one to understand the commanding appearance of the Father. It is time for one to see that his word remain active and alive. It is time for one to be a witnesser of his word. For the word of God is alive, active, and full of power. It is time for one to witness the power of the word, the power in the word. It is time for one to witness such. So before we go, I just want us to read quickly. Um, I just want us to read quickly. Uh, Ephesians chapter... Um, Okay, before we start with Ephesians, let's just start with the Exodus. Let's start with Exodus. In the course of the week, we'll be talking about uh, one receiving God's uniqueness. And if one receives God's uniqueness, one is engraved with the name, the name of the Son. And if you carry 
the, the, the spirit of the son, you, you are as well carrying the spirit of the father. So let's quickly turn our, our Bible to the book of Exodus chapter six. Let me start with Exodus six. Okay, um, I'm just gonna start from verse one. <clears throat> then the Lord, I'm using Amplified Version, the digital Bible, Amplified Version. Okay. Then the Lord said to Moses, now you shall see what I will do to Pharaoh, for compelled by a strong hand, he will not only let them go, but he will drive them out of his land with a strong hand. And God said to Moses, I am the Lord. I appear to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty, El Shaddai. But by my name, the Lord, Yahweh, but by my name, the Lord, Yahweh, the, redempt, the, redemptive, the redemptive name of God. Now, I want you to quickly understand that word. But by my name, Lord, Yahweh, the redemptive name of God. Now, who did God send to redeem us? Whom did God give the authority and the power? The authority and the power. Meaning, Ephesians 1 from verse 3 says, God is blessed. God is blessed. Now, God now bless us with spiritual blessings in whom? In the Son. So there is no need for God to appear when the Son is available for us. He said, the name, he said, he said, listen to this, verse 3, Exodus 6 from verse 3. I appear to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty, El Shaddai. But my name, the Lord Yahweh, the redemptive, the redemptive name of God, I did not make myself known to them. So now, Christ, the Redeemer, the Restorer, the Reconciler, what was not made to them. Why? Because when God made it for them to see, their hearts were not receptive to receive him. It's a rock of faith. You remember the worship song that we just listened to when we, before, before we came on air right now? Right? Rock of faith is there for me. It's been there. He said it was there before the foundation of the head, before the foundation of this world. John 1 spoke of him, said he was there before the foundation of this world, but it was not made known. They did not know because the father did not make him to be known to them. But you, you are his own generation. You are of his own choosing. You were not created. You were not, you were not merely uh, came on plan. You were planned. God planned your, your arrival. God plan you on this earth. So everything that happens in your life, everything that happens in, on your way, everything that you face, every challenge, God has a purpose for it. So understand that you are not by mistake, but God has planned for you. God planned your journey. You did not just fall on this earth. You did not just come. Even though you were born from out of wedlock, even though you were born from a family of poverty, even though you are born from a family that oppress, oppre that faces oppression, even though you are born from a family that faces hard time, even though you are born out of a family that faces difficulty. Listen to this. Listen to this. God has a plan and a purpose for you. I have thought, I have plans for your life. When God spoke of this, to Jeremiah, it was you that God was spoken of. So I have thought, I have planned for your life. Listen, of goodwill, of good health, not of evil, not of evil. That's why many, 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 many causes themselves to sin by thinking that now this evil has come now to take them away from God. Listen, evil has no power to take you away from God's presence. It is when your mind is set on that evil thing. That's why evil now rule and dominates your thought, dominates your body, dominates your life because your mind is set on it. We were told, we were governed, instructed, led that at all time we should think, 
meditate on things from above where the Christ is heavily seated. So that we were meant to what? Set our minds on things from above, not on things of evil, not on things from below, not of things that is of unrighteous. That's why many, many, many body, do you not know that body respond to what the mind feeds? The body respond. Even body respond to what the eye sees. Body respond to what the ear heard. That's why you must be careful of what you are. You must be careful of what you are. Because they have a way of leading you to evil side. But one who has, one who is in the Father, matured in the state of the Father, in heart, who, and how, how can you get to that state? How can you be matured? How can you be in the Father? If, if you do not let the world, the world, the Father, to leave you, to depart from you, then how can you, how can you hold on to the Father? Holding on to his word. How? Meditate his word. Joshua, my servant, do not let this word of mine to depart from you. Meditate upon my word day and night. So you are keeping God in your body. You are keeping God in your life. And God honors one who keep his word. That is why God makes the one who keep his word. God made them to be honorable on this earth. That's where God shows his might. That's where God shows his power. That's why now you begin now, people begin to witness God presence. Begin, people now begin to witness the power of God. People now begin to witness the living power of the of, of God in your life. Because why? Through you, through you, son. That is the book of Hebrews chapter uh, chapter one and Hebrews chapter two. Say through you, son. Say you you you, you, say, you say, your ministry. It will be seen. You will bear witnesses of what the word is. The word that is alive, active. The word that is full of power and authority. The word that is spirit. Now, listen to this. Exodus 6, verse 3. We're not, we're not going to speak for us. We're going to minister right now. I just want your heart and your mind to be prepared. And the spirit of God is going to be setting many free. Yokes will be broken down this evening through the word of the Lord, through the name of our master, Jesus Christ. Now, verse 3, read. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Ask God Almighty, thou shalt die. But by my name, the Lord Yahweh, the, redem the redemptive name of God, I did not make myself known to them. In arts and great miracles, I did not make myself known to them. In arts and great miracles. But the Israelites, they saw great miracles. In this book of Exodus, you read verse, chapter 15. I have also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their temporary residence in which they were strangers. I have also heard, I have also heard the gro groan, groaning of the Israelites, the groaning of the Israelites, whom the Egyptians have enslaved, and have earnestly remembered my covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Accordingly, say to the Israelites, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the bodies of the Egyptians, and I will free you from the bondage. I will rescue you with the outstretched, outstretched arm, outstretched arm with special vigorous action with special vigorous action. Listen, the Lord God Almighty has given this authority that we are reading now to our master, Jesus Christ, the son. The Lord God Almighty is now watching to see that what he has given to us. Listen, you receive the son, you receive this authority. You receive the son, you receive this grace. Now God is watching. What is God watching? God is watching to see that his word is being performed right now. Listen, with a vigorous action, 
every giant man of your family with a vigorous action, every spirit of death locking around in your family, locking around in your household, locking around you, locking around your ministry, locking around your friends, locking around your community the, with a vigorous action. The light, the light of God is about to take action right now. I'm saying with a vigorous action, every spirit of poverty, every spirit of poverty, every spirit of poverty that constantly, constantly showing itself around you, around your home, around your finances, around your family. There are many, many, many. There is nothing that they've not tried in life to become successful. There are many today. There is nothing. I mean, when I say nothing, they've tried every possible best. They went to the best school, they went to the best college, they even acquired the highest degree of education. But still, still, no matter how how full and how, how nourished, how, how complimentary, how gifted is their CV, when you check out their CV, it's full. I mean, it's admirable, but still nothing good comes out of it. What is behind? Something is definitely constantly stealing joy from their life. Something is around them, making sure that they remain in sorrow, that they remain in pitiful, not earning what is rightful theirs. I mean, imagine having, having, having been down with knowledge, but still have nothing to showcase for. You, okay, you got knowledge. Okay, you got wisdom. Okay, okay, you know things. Okay, you 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 you, you got uh, you 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 are highly call, um, uh, connected. Okay, you are in high places. But where is the resources? Where is the resources? Where is the resources? There is still lacking, and the lacking is, is growing, causing one to grow, causing one to to question. The, 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 the spirituality life of that person, because they want to begin to ask God, you know, many even have opened their mouths and go and sin against God. Because you see, when one worry, one is sinning against God. Why? You are making the presence of the Father to become noise and void in your life. When one complain, one is sinning against God. Why? You are making the word, the word, the word that you've received, the word that you've confessed, so isn't it? You give your life to Christ. You say you welcome him. And when you were giving your life to Christ, it was through a word. You confess him. I confess you, Lord Jesus Christ. I've heard and welcomed your word in my heart. I confess you to be my Lord. Now you made the confession, open confession. Jesus Christ was there because he is the word. Now you made a confession to him and he, he, he welcomes you. As you welcome him in your heart, he becomes now the Lord over your soul. Now you were supposed to guide your heart and guide your mind against things that causes you to ask God, why am I going through this? Because now, now you do not guide yourself from, from knowing or, or understanding why endurance has to finish its course, why perseverance has to finish its course, why long suffering is the fruit of the Holy Spirit, why patience is a virtue that every Christian must possess. You lack patience, you lack God's presence. You lack patience, you lack the spirit of soul. Because he showed to us 30 years, 30 good years, not 30 days, not 30 months, 30 years of being known and regarded as a son of carpenter. He was mocked with it, but he never murmured, he never complained. He never even told them that if you truly know who I am, if you truly know where I come from, you will not even mention Joseph as my father. But he never even disclose his identity. Having no who he was, he never disclosed his identity. But he allowed the will of the Father to happen. So I'm saying tonight, let's just say, as this word is coming to you right now, be prepared. There is time for shackles to be broken from many ankles. Many ankles have been shackled. Many, many legs have been bounded. Many hands have been chained. I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about spiritual chains. I'm talking about spiritual shackles, shackles of addiction, addition to failures, addition of reputation. You repeat the same way, your life goes the same way, year after year, uh, uh, month after month, week, weeks after weeks, days after days. You, 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 you are in the, same, in the same repetition. You are going in the same way, in the same dimension. 
it is as if it is as if you've been you've been you've been uh, put in a, in 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 a place where you cannot break out. But you can see yourself not breaking out. But you want to. You long for. You want to reach out. You want to come out from where circumstances are kept. But something honest gives you doubt. I'm saying tonight, tonight, whether you are watching life right now or whether you watch the repeat broadcast, I'm saying to you, the voice of God that is coming out to you right now, the world that is alive, active, the world that is full of power and authority has located you. And it, it, it has come to set you free. He has come to break you loose. He has come to redeem you, redeem you from all evil of life, from all evil of failure. So I'm saying, have no fear. With a vigorous action, with a vigorous action, the astral Stretch, my dear and the Lord has come upon your life. So I, I, I'm just going to repeat here right now. We are reading Exodus chapter 6. I'm taking it from verse 6 again. Accordingly, say, accordingly, meaning in, in, with, with, in line, says, say to the Israelites, I am the Lord. I will bring you out from under the bounding, the bodies, the bounds of Egyptians, and I will free you from their, from their bondages from their bond, bondage, I will rescue you with an outstretched, outstretched arm, with special and vigorous action. See, I, will, I love you so much. I will rescue you with an outstretched arm. And we saw how God said to Moses, you stretch, you stretch your arms so that God was using Moses, but it was the, the spirit of God that is at work. Now stretch your staff to the sea. See, that was a creation. Listen, when Moses stretched forth the staff to the sea, see parted, see gave way, see gave way. So many lives, many who, who, who are faced with storm of Red Sea, troubles. Yeah, are, you, are you experiencing trouble in marriage? Are you experiencing challenges in your health? Is your body failing you? Is your health failing you? Are you facing, what is it? What is it that is causing you limitation in life? What brings about setback? What brings about disappointment? So the trouble of life with a vigorous, vigorous action, you are about to experience a change. The rock of age is active, is, is alive, is active. Now listen to this. Listen to this. Verse 6, Exodus 6, verse 6. Accordingly, say to the Israelites, I am the Lord. And I will bring you out from the under bondage of the Egyptians. I will free you from the bondage. I will rescue you with, with an with an outstretched arm, with special and vigorous action, and by by mighty hearts of judgment. So um, the word of the Lord is about is about to bring judgment over that evil giant man in your family, over that evil witchcraft that was done against you. Many has been placed under spell. Many that are under spell, under spell. So I'm saying the light, light of God is about to break many out from every evil witchcraft, evil witchcraft, evil manipulation, evil darkness, evil demon of darkness that was done, that was done against your life, against your image. Many, many, many images has been held. Many, your name has been tied down. Your name has been locked somewhere. Your, your photos, your, your photos, image, your pictures have been locked somewhere. So I'm saying tonight, tonight, the light, light of God is, a, is, a, is about to break you loose, break you free. And I'm saying this is total redemption. This is total redemption. When the Son of Glory sets you free, you are free for life. You are free indeed. Verse 7 says, I will take, I will, and, and I will take you to me. Now, after the act of judgment, God says, and I will take you to me. For a people, I will be to you a God. Meaning, me for a people, I will be to you a God, and you shall know that it is I, the Lord your God, who brings you out from under the bondage of the Egyptians. Now let's quickly let's quickly read. Um, um, I would have loved us to go because of time. Matthew six, Matthew eleven. But let's just go to Ephesians one quickly. Ephesians 1, this is lovely, uh, this is wonderful, 
Efficiency one. Let's go to efficiency one quickly. We are going to minister right now. This is the same. Okay, efficiency one. Now, um, remember what we just read now, like when God was communicating to Moses and what God did not make known when God appeared to the old prophets. Now, let's start with uh, 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 chapter three, um, chapter one, verse three. Um, okay, let me start from verse two. May grace, God's unmerited favor and spiritual peace, which means peace with God and harmony, unity, and all disturbance, all disturbance, uh, disturbance be yours from God, our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, verse 3 says this. May blessing, praise, laudation, and eulogy be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Who has blessed us in Christ? He says, I repeat, may blessing, praise, laudation, and eulogy be to the God and Father of our Lord. Be to the God and the Father of our Lord. So praise goes to God, hmm? the Father of our Lord, of our Lord. Remember, God said, I am the Lord. So Moses, God said, I am the Lord. Now, the Father of our Lord. The Father of our Lord. So what God was doing in the time by the word coming, the word coming, and God was communicating to his prophet of old. Now, God now gave us the son whom has brought to us the way of God for us to know that we are untouchable, that no weapon of enemy form fashion forges against our life, against our weapon, can prosper over us. Why? Because it took all. It took all. Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53, we saw how uh, Prophet Isaiah spoke and wrote. He even went further to say, who will believe our message, O oh Lord? Who will believe our message? He even included himself in our message, our own message. We that were in the plan of the Father. Here was our Prophet Isaiah including himself, saying, no, this glory shall not pass me by. Hey, this that I'm seeing, I, I do not want. I do not want to. I do not want to read or hear about this. I want to witness it. I want to be a witnesser to these great things. I want to be a witnesser to these awesome things of the Father. I want to be a part of this. He does not want to. You know, he does not want to be told. He wants to be part of it. That's why I said, "Who we'll believe our message?" Now, listen. To this. May blessing, praise, laudation, laudation, and eulogy be to the God. And Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual given by the Holy Spirit, blessing in the heavenly realm. Even as is us in his love, he chose us, actually picked us out for himself as his own in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy, consecrated, and set apart for him, and blameless in his sight. That was what was hindering the spirit of the Lord from having conveniency in the heart of the old prophet. Hunger, short temper, rage, sinning. Immediately, Moses, Moses was caught up in those, in those, in those, in those, uh, in those ways. Moses was caught up in those ways. Pride. Aaron, Miriam. They began to argue. No, no, Moses is not the only one that God spoke to. No, God also speak to us. You know? Now, verse 5 says, He for they know destiny knows planned, planned in law for us. Remember, plan, plan. I have thought, I have planned for your life to prosper you, not to harm you. I have thought, I have plans for your life to prosper you, not to harm you. For he for they know destiny knows plan in law for us to be adopted, revealed as his own children through Jesus Christ in accordance with the purpose of his will because it pleased him and was with his kind intent. So that we might be to the praise and to the commendation of his glorious grace, favor and mercy, which he so freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption. In him, we have redemption. So prepare, I, I believe the Spirit of the Lord is preparing many to, uh, tonight. 
you gonna be redeemed. Listen, you whoever said you will not make it in life, you already made it. Why? Because Christ redeems you. In Christ, there is no failure. In Christ, there is no failure. So you already, you already is a, you already enter, you already a successful person. You already, you are already a successful person because in him, it redeems you from being a failure and it makes you a winner. It makes you an overcomer. Now I say in him, we have redemption, deliverance, and salvation through his blood, the remission, forgiveness of our offenses, shortcomings, and trespasses in accordance with the riches and the generosity of his gracious favor, which he lavished upon us in every kind of wisdom and understanding, practical insight and prudence, making known to us the mystery secret of his will, of his plan, of his purpose. And it is this, in accordance with his good pleasure, in accordance with his, so what give God uh, pleasure? Seeing us coming out victorious, over all evil confrontation. For it pleases the Father to allow his fullness to dwell in the Son. Revelation 2, Revelation 3, Revelation 21. He said, the one who overcame, the one who overcome, we receive. Because you believe in the word. You believe in the word. Tonight, you will overcome every adversity in your life. Tonight, you will walk out free from every challenge. Tonight, you walk out free from every addiction. Tonight, you walk out free from every pain in your body. Tonight, you walk out free from every sickness. Tonight, you are coming out from that disease. Whatever diseases that is before your body, whatever diseases that has before your body, Exodus 15, it says, I will put none of this, none of this, none of this. God is saying, I will put none of this. So whatever God has not put on your body, whatever that has not come in his plan, whatever that does not come by the spirit of the Father, whatever that has come to steal, whatever that has come to kill, whatever that has come to destroy, whatever that has come to ruin life from your body, to ruin your, your relationship, to to interfere in your salvation, to interfere in your fellowship. Tonight, 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 we are going to arrest, we are going to subdue. The Spirit of the Lord is going to take care of every fundamental issue in your life tonight. Now, listen to this. I repeat again, verse 9, Ephesians 1, making known to us the, mis the mystery, secret of his will, of his plan, of his purpose, and it is this, in accordance with his good pleasure, his merciful intention, which he had previously proposed and set forth in him, previously proposed. Now, when we are reading, you see now where Exodus 6 now, as we, are read, as we read Exodus 6, remember, it was planned, but it was not made known. A plan that was not made known. But now God chose you and God made, made the plan to be made available and to be made known to you. Now, verse 10, a plan for maturity of times and the climax of ages to unify all things and head them up and consummate them in Christ, both things in heaven and, and things on earth. So Jesus came in Matthew 28, verse 18. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So when you when you remain in him, through his word, meditating his word, you are coming of age, coming into maturity, so remaining in him, abiding in him. Jesus said in John 14, if you love me, you will keep my word, you will keep my command. And if you do so, you will be rewarded. What is the reward? I am my father. We come and make your heart our dwelling place. In him, we are also, we also, we are made God's heritage. In him, we are also made what? God's heritage. Portion and we obtain an inheritance. Now, God's inheritance for you is not sickness. God's inheritance for you is not disease. God's inheritance for you is not poverty. God is not inheritance for you. It's not failure. God's inheritance for you is not disappointment. God's inheritance for you is not failure. It is not setback. So you are coming out of that sickness. So we are going to pray right now. Listen, because of time, we are going to pray right now. Listen to this. Listen to this. Whatsoever, whatsoever it is, whatsoever it is called, whatsoever it may be, been whatever it has been called, whichever name it has been given, 
I am saying right now, we are addressing the giant man behind it, the evil demon that is behind that sickness. Listen, every mountain, there are many who rushes, they rush, they don't even, they don't even go, they rush, meaning they run, run to the medical doctor. Because every month, something comes up, up on their body, something that has no, it, it, it has no end, it has no end. So that disease, that sickness that has, that has no, no bearing comes into your body to come and what? To come and steal, to come and kill, to come and ruin, to come and destroy. So we are bringing every evil activities, every evil activities that has been sent to your life, every evil of our activities that has been projected into your life, into your body. There are many arrows that have been shot, arrows that have been shot into your body. But listen, we take those arrows now and we make them arrows of God. We make them because we are not wrestling against flesh, against blood. We're not going to start killing people. No. We are going to be destroying the works. And now they are arresting and bringing and bringing and bringing their deeds, bringing their works, bringing their action, bringing their activity into the obediency of the word. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. We're well, taking from verse 3 to 5. Bringing their works, bringing their works, bringing their action, bringing their activity, bringing it to the obediency of the word. So we are going to pray with the name of our master. Christ. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 20. Can I just read before we pray? Ephesians 1, 20. Can I just quickly read? This is beautiful. Just going to read here quickly. Okay, let me start from verse 19. And so that you can know and understand what is the immeasurable, unlimited, and surpassing greatness of his power in and for us who believe as demonstrated in the working of his mighty strength which he exacted in Christ. It was exacted in Christ. It was in Christ. It was in Christ. So every working power, it was in Christ. Without Christ, it wouldn't have been possible. Now, when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his own right hand in heavenly places, far above rule and authority, far above rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is, that is named above every title, that can be conferred not only in this age and in this world, but also in the age and in the world which are to come. So what is this name? The Christ, the name of Jesus Christ. So we are going to be praying right now. We are going to be praying right now, blessed saying, as we declare, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare the word of the Lord has come upon all our sundry. The light, the light of God, locate all our sundry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We arrest hell, evil darkness, evil of sickness, evil of disease, evil that has come to steal, evil that has come to destroy, evil that has come to ruin right now. Your activity ends over their lives. Your activity ends over their body right now. You giant man of the family right now, we subdue your activity right now. We subdue your work right now. Your work ends in their body right now. Your assignment right now, we terminate your assignment over their body. We terminate your assignment over their body right now. You get out from their body right now. You get out from their life. You get out from their body. You get out from their body right now. Life that has come upon our flesh. Life that has come upon our body right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we bring every name, every name into, this, into the submission of the name Jesus Christ right now. No darkness can seize you right now. No darkness can steal from your life. No darkness can steal from your body right now. The name of the Lord has come upon your body. The name of the Lord has come upon your life right now. Life that has come upon you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Life that has come upon your body. Life that has come upon your life right now. Evil, di evil giant man, evil giant man of the family, you get out. You get out from your life. You get out from your body right now. We pray for those in hospital right now and those that continue to run to hospital right now without the medical doctor seeing what is causing that sickness, seeing what is causing that disease. See what is causing that discomfort. We declare every discomfort in your body. We declare every infirmity in your body. We declare every pain, every sickness, whatsoever it is that is bringing discomfort to your body right now. The light, the light of God has come upon you right now. There are strange mighty hand of the Lord has come upon you, setting your body free, setting your life free, uprooting every nature of sickness, uprooting every nature of disease right now. We pray those that are facing spirit of death right now, every 
evil spirit of death that has come, evil spirit of death that is around you, you surrender by the spirit of death right now. Life that comes upon your body, we uproot evil spirit of death from your life. We uproot that evil spirit of death from your body. We uproot evil spirit of death from your life right now. You get out right now. You evil spirit of death. You evil spirit of death. You leave the people of God. You leave the people of God right now. You have no hold over their life. You have no stay over their life. You have no hold over their health. You have no stay over their body right now. Their body belongs to Christ. Their life belongs to God right now. You get out with your deeds. You get out with your character. You get out with your righteousness right now. Life that has come. When the light of God turned us, darkness ceased from existence right now. Every evil darkness, you get out from the life of people right now. I command right now. Who that have come to interfere with the studies of those young ones, the studies of those learners, the studies of those children right now. You've come to interfere. You bring all devices. You bring all devices. You bring all true. You've come to steal the mind. You've come to steal their life. You've come to steal their education right now. The light of God exposed you right now. That the glory of God overshadow their life right now. Touch not of my anointed. That will not touch them right now. That the glory of God overshadow their mind, overshadow their body, overshadow their body right now. No evil that has been done by their life. No evil of mind that has been done over their minds. Right now, we declare that their mind be for God right now. We declare restoration of mind. We declare restoration of minds in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare all youth. We declare all learners. We declare all boys and girls right now to be filled with the spirit of the Father. Spirit of excellence to come upon them. Spirit of knowledge come upon them. Spirit of wisdom come upon them. Spirit of understanding rest upon them right now. Excellent spirit from above. Rest upon all learners. Rest upon their hearts. Rest upon their mind right now. Let them be filled with the knowledge from above right now. Let them be filled with the knowledge from above in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We continue to pray for nations. We continue to declare God's presence upon nation right now. For the head belongs to God. The head belongs to God. And the fullness thereof right now. We pray for all the leaders. We pray for all leaders. All leaders. Ebra Kalush, Jesus the Emma. Ye Debra Dush Sura Libra Kalure Ebra Ante. Lebra Katata Sura. Lebra Katata Sira. Le Debra Dush Sura Libra Kisik Ete. We pray for South Africa. We pray for Nigeria. We pray for Tunisia. We pray for Libya. E Shetibra Kura Lishaka Ente. Ele Katata Sakura. We pray for Mali. We pray for Senegal. E Kata Sura Libre Hende Zura. E Shetatura Libra. We pray for Africa continent. Lord God Almighty. We say for let the, let the world reign in Africa. Let your glory descend upon Africa. Let your glory overshadow Africa. We pray for United Kingdom. We pray for France. We pray for Italy. We pray Malisa Sure Eka Karure. Let the priest of the Father come upon the nation. Let the peace of the Lord reign upon Europe as a continent. We pray for North and South America, Lord God Almighty. We pray for Mexico, we pray for Canada, we pray for America. We pray for Brazil, we pray for Peru. We pray for Peru. We pray for Nations that have turned back against you, Lord. We pray for the Lord. We stand there before you, mighty God. We pray for your mercy upon these nations. We declare your mercy upon these nations, oh Lord. We are praying for our brothers in all these nations, Lord, for them to be strengthened, Lord, in the face of adversity, for them to be strengthened, Lord, in the face of challenges. We pray for Asia in all the countries, in all the countries, in the continent of Asia. We pray for New Zealand, we pray for Australia, we pray for China, we pray for China, we pray for India, 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 we pray right now, Lord God Almighty, every evil challenge that has, that has caused dimension in the life of the body of Christ, every evil that has causing trouble in the body, in the life of those, oh Lord God Almighty, that evil that, is, that has caused many, many not to fellowship, that has caused many to for the challenge to be in that, that has caused many hearts to be far from you, oh Lord, many evil that has been raised over their heart, over their mind, we present them before you, Lord God Almighty. Every evil challenge that arises against them right now. We subdue their activity over their mind right now. We renew their mind right now. As we declare, let their heart, let their mind be filled with your presence, oh Lord. Let their heart, let their mind be filled with your presence, oh Lord. We subdue every activity. Activity that is not your only name. Activity that does not please you. Activity that does not represent your glory. Activity that does not come from above right now. We remove from their mind right now. We remove from their mind right now. We uproot by a truth over their mind right now. And we declare the word of the Lord to 
locate all minds. We declare that your word locate all minds. Minds that are far from your word right now. The word of the Lord locates them. Let we pray for all the market women. We pray for all the market women right now. In all their businesses right now. In all their finances right now. We declare your mercy over their business. Every closed business. Every business right now. The word of God begin to unlock right now. Every evil of darkness. over their businesses. over their finances. The word of Lord set them free right now. The light of God set them free right now. Life that has come upon their businesses. Life that has come upon their finances right now. We pray for all the market women. We pray for all the market women, all the market men, and all the market women. We pray for all those in businesses, Lord God Almighty. Every evil challenge, every evil delay, every evil stagnation, every evil disappointment in their businesses. We speak a rise in their business right now. We speak increase in their business right now. We speak breakthrough in their business right now. The light of the Lord separate them from delay. The light of God separate them from disappointment. The light of God separate them from failure. For there is no failure in the word of the Lord. We remove and approve every failure from their life. Even that cause them to fail right now. Be approved right now. Your deeds end right now. Your activity ends right now. Your activity ends over their lives. Your activity ends over their finances. Your activity ends over their businesses right now. As we continue to pray for men and women of God. We pray for strengthening of the mind. We pray for endurance over their minds. We pray for patience over their mind. We pray for patience over their mind. For them to remain faithful in your word, O Lord. We pray for family that are all that witchcraft manipulation, oh Lord. We uproot every evil witchcraft, evil spirit of death, evil project that has been projected over their lives. Every evil that monitor their movement, that monitor their sleeps, that monitor their works, that monitor their life, that monitor their health. Right now, the light of God exposes. The light of God exposes every evil that monitor monitors every works, every evil that monitors your going and your coming right now. The light of God exposes every evil deed. The words touch not of my anointed. I declare Christ, I declare you Christ anointed. I declare your life anointed. Every evil that has been projected over your life right now, evil, that pro, evil of projection that has been sent to your ways, that has been sent into your life, that has been sent to your finances, that has been sent to your home right now, monitoring your life, monitoring your finances, monitoring your marriage, monitoring your ministry, monitoring your your children right now, the light of God exposes right now. There is no hiding place for this evil. The light of God exposes you right now. You evil darkness, you evil wickedness, you evil witchcraft and pollution. There is no hiding place for you in their life right now. Be exposed. Life that has come upon their body, life that has come upon their life right now. The light of God shines. When the light shines right now, darkness ceases from existing. When the light turns right now, darkness ceases from existing right now. You evil darkness, we command you out from their life. You evil witchcraft manipulation, we end your activity over their life. We end your activity over their body right now. Come out from their body right now. Come out from their way right now. Be exposed. Exposed right now. You are finished. You are exposed. It is over with your words. It is over with your deed. It is over with your righteousness over their life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray for all those that are in hospital right now. The light that of God locates them. Every hospital bed, every ICU, every mentality word, every trauma word. The light of God goes through into every word right now, setting all yoke of sickness, every yoke of captivity, breaking them loose from that sickness them loose from that limitation, breaking them loose from that disease, breaking them loose from that old right now, breaking them loose from that infirmity, breaking them loose from that affliction. Whatsoever evil that has afflicted your body, causing you to seek right now, whatsoever sickness that the medical doctors could not see, could not help you with, the what, what medication has failed right now, there is no failure in the 
word of the Lord, the word of the Lord has come to give you life, the word of the Lord has come to, to restore your body, the word of the Lord has come to restore your health right now, health has come upon your body right now, begin to speak this word, let the weak say I am strong, let the poor say I am rich, begin to confess and speak the word upon your body right now, let the weak say I am strong right now, receive strength from the Lord, receive strength from above right now, they are strength mighty the Lord has come upon your body right now, wherever you are being placed, they are strength mighty the Lord has come upon you right now, you are set free, you are made, you are delivered right now, you are delivered from that pain, you are delivered from that sickness, you are delivered from that infirmity, right? Praise you from where circumstances has kept you right now, as you pray for those that are under the influence of addiction, whatsoever that has addicted your mind, whatsoever that has addicted your body, whatsoever that is stealing the God's time from your life right now, the light light of God has come upon your body, breaking you loose from that evil addiction, you evil addiction right now, you get out, 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 you get out from their body, you get out from their life, you get out from their, you get out from their life, you get out from their body, you get out from their life right now, your old gets expired right now, your deeds get expired right now, your old get expired right now, your deeds get expired right now, there is no hiding place for you, you evil darkness, there is no hiding place for you, you evil darkness, there is no hiding place for you, you evil darkness, you get out right now, you get out right now, you that causes addition right now, you get out from their minds, you get out from their body, whatever shackles, whatever chains that you used to afflict them, whatever chains that you used to imprison their mind, to imprison their body, to imprison their life, life that has come upon them right now, the glory of the Lord has come upon their body, the glory of the Lord has come upon their life right now, the light light of God set them free, the light of God bring them loose right now, freedom has come upon their life, freedom has come upon their body right now, there is no hiding place for you, you evil giant man, there is no hiding place for you, you wicked evil giant man, you there is no hiding place for you, you evil witchcraft on the possession, there is no hiding place for you, you leave the people of God right now, you leave their body, you leave their mind, as a love of God exposes now, we pray for those that are working in the offices right now. We pray for those that are working in the private, in the government, in the municipality. We pray for them who shall talib in Sakura. Every challenge is eager. Every spirit of emptiness, every spirit of jealousy, every spirit of witchcraft that has been done against that has been done against your name, that has been done against your image right now. I speak the light, the light of God, the light, light of God right now. Break you free. The light of God right now set you free. The light of God, the light, light of God break you loose from every evil that has been done against you, even that has been done against your well-being, even that has been done against your health, even that has been done against your image, even that has been done against your name, even that has been done against your work right now. He can do the embra into the light, light of God, bring judgment upon every evil that has been done against you right now. We seize every evil activities, every evil activity right now. Be seized over your life, be seized over your body, be seized over your name, be seized over your image right now. Your image remains untouchable. We begin to unlock every lock, every lock name, every lock destiny, every lock name over your life right now. We begin to unlock whatsoever that is stuck in your life, whatsoever that is backlog over your life right now. We begin to lose right now. The light, light of God set you free. The land of God break the loose right now. Be set free. He shall disappear in the kitchen. Let them produce you soon in the kitchen. Let them produce you soon in the kitchen. With the vigorous action of the Father, the Spirit of the Lord moves. He can he break us in the kitchen. With the vigorous action, the Spirit of the Lord move upon our body, move upon our lands, setting many free, setting nations free, setting homes free, setting family free, setting doors in our hospital free, setting doors that are being held up, doors that are being held. Head it down against your will. The light, light of God has come to set you free right now. Receive the freedom of the Lord upon your life right now. Light, light has come upon your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you. You are made though, you are delivered, you are set apart. You are here, you are raised up, not by men's will, but according to his will, according to his blessing, according to his riches and glory. God loves you, God is with you. Remain blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to our Father, glory to our King. And if you have not known the Lord, this is it is for one to, to have um to receive salvation. It is important for one to receive and welcome salvation. So if you have not known the Lord and you want to uh have a relationship with him, you want to have a fellowship with him, you want to be in relationship with him, just say after us as we say this prayer, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I have heard and received your word. I'm a sinner. I humble myself before you in need of your conviction, in need of your mercy, in need of your forgiveness. Lord Jesus, 
You laid down your life for me, the cross of Calvary, and you rose again on the third day to give me life, the abundant life. You wash me with your precious prevailing blood that I'm going to be white and snow. Save my soul today. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord, you are my Redeemer, you are my Savior, you are my Restorer, you are my Reconciler. You have brought me back to the Father. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Write down my name in the book of life where there is no condemnation. Thank you for this wonderful life. Thank you for this wonderful privilege. Thank you for your word in my life. Thank you for accepting me. Thank you for cleansing me, purifying me, separating me from all ancestral lineage. I am no longer of old. I am new, made in your newness, to remain in you, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. We welcome you as you have said this prayer. Remember, you are made new, made in his image, to remain in him. God bless you, God is with you. Remain blessed in Jesus' mighty name. So we love you. Remain blessed. Uh, we'll be back again on this platform on Sunday. Uh, wherever we uh, we have service tomorrow at Rabbi Center Ministry with our father, Papa Lesekodane, and our brothers, the sons. So we continue uh, tomorrow. Uh, and, we are, and we encourage you to join us. If you can, join us on Zoom so we can continue to pray together. Remember, we've been, we've been, we've been, we've been instructed and encouraged by our father to continue to pray uh, for, for all the leaders, nations, um, it's important for one to carry out that instruction, continue to intercede, 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 intercede. Uh, uh, when God reveals things, it will happen but through the prayer of the faith, through the prayer of the faithful ones, through the prayer of God's own people, through the prayer of saints, the mercy of God will reign over what could have been, meaning, meaning the, 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 the length of what could have will not be, because now you have interceded. Remember, Moses prayed to God on behalf of Israel and said, God, remember, you, you have a name. You are holy. You are merciful. You are God. You are the Lord. These people are nothing without you. So nations might have turned their back against God. But you that you're in that nation, you remain faithful. Don't let you see or what you pray from God's presence. Many are not in with God because of what they've seen and what they've heard. So God loves you. God is with you. Remain blessed. We'll meet again at Rabani Center Ministry. But on Sunday, we'll continue on this platform. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you to everyone. Thank you so much, everyone on Facebook. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you for praying with us. And thank you for allowing yourself to be a blessing unto, unto honor. Thank you for sharing. We are one. It is one message. It is not my message. It is our message. So uh, we believe and we trust God that our report will be, believed, will be accepted. So we love you. Stay blessed. So from us, it is to God be the glory. Remain blessed. Amen.